Hello guys, welcome to Vegan Van Life. Hello. Today we share with you van life mistakes we made on our journey so far. And in case you wonder where we are, this is my mom's place and my brother's place. And we stay here for a week or so and yeah, then we drive to Styria to the family from Michael and then we're on the road again. Number one uh, mistake is the car battery. So we have two batteries in front and two in the back and we forgot to... So yeah, we can change them together. If we drive, uh, we load both of them and the solar panels load both of, the, both of them. But when we stay, we try to use only the batteries. Uh, we have from the solar panel in the back and yeah but we forgot this uh, now two or three times and if you do too long you have no, no battery, car battery, no car yeah. battery at all. So um, in one of our um, first videos there was um, a problem with our battery and we changed the battery but the main problem was that the battery from a car was empty so we uh, we're not able to drive away and this happens two times um, in our two and a half month um, journey and yeah yes. we have a, a signal on the on the batteries in the back if it's too low we just turn it off but if they are coupled together uh, the signal don't come and then yeah then it's too late so yeah and you're stuck basically I don't know how it is in your camper let us know uh, how in the oh, comments. Yeah, yeah, let us know how you do this or if you also separate batteries or have you only one or have you no batteries. How do you do this with the power? <laughs> so number two, um, when you have a, a GPS um, thing, that it's good because we don't and we have just our phones and in other countries where we don't have an internet connection all the time, we can't use our phone for the map basically and we had just a normal map and they weren't on point sometimes and yeah it's easily to get lost in other countries. So the next thing we invest our money in is a good GPS system. That's really important. Number three, um, if you drive to, want to drive to a spot, yeah, especially when you live in, yeah, when you live in a van or so, um, you should really, really look on the map where you want to drive and where you want to stay. We had one time a problem, we must leave in the middle of the night and then we didn't find a spot and then we drive the whole night through to Peloponnese, I think. The, Hours, the, the, because the we were lost <laughs> on a mountain. didn't find anything, we have no internet or anything, we didn't can't look, so and so, yeah, look before you drive where you can stay or also camp. Free camp is different, often yeah, it doesn't look the same on the map also. So yeah, that's, uh, that's also a problem. Number four, also when you don't um, look exactly on Google Maps, don't drive through off-road roads because you don't know where they lead you. And one time in Greece, we um, drive down an off-road um, street and uh, there were farmers and they water um, the melons and the whole um, street was so um, sticky and slimy and yeah we're, um, we're down by a, a beach parking place and we nearly um, couldn't make it out there because of the sand and it was so wet this was a really scary experience, yes. especially for him because he tried to pull the car out with his with his hands and luckily we made it and the um, the mud on our car was on our car um, since last week. So yeah. And yeah, then never drive. Good reminder. And normally don't drive off-road roads. This was the official road to the coast and it was a disaster. <laughs> yeah. So don't do that. Number five, um, it's if you drive to a country, you really should inform yourself what do you need in this country. We drive just drive from Austria to Greece and we uh, cross the border in Bosnia. And on the border they say we need a green card. 
yeah, some kind of green card insurance. It was, I don't know. You don't they basically need it. want to yes. make money out of you. Yes. And you just had to buy, I don't know, 25, 30 euros for just an insurance for your car. I said, I have insurance, but you don't have need your insurance from your home country. You need a Bosnian insurance for, for the time being uh, in Bosnia. And that was... Yeah, my car didn't work somehow, and so we searched all over the van for money. Because and that's another mistake. <laughs> yes. Have um, money with you, because we had only card money with us, just a, um, for Maut, for the borders. We had a, a, few, a little bit of money, but not enough for insurance. So we um, searched for the little coins everywhere, and luckily, it was enough then, but it could be worse. <laughs> yes, it was just the Bosnian borders. We were, I don't know, one or two hours in Bosnia and yeah, but whatever. <laughs> Make sure you uh, get the info first. Number six. So when you sleep in your van, it's really important to have um, a level ground that the van can stay straight. Because we made the mistake um, sometimes that it wasn't really that level it, um, and we had really bad back pain at the end of the night. So when you don't uh, uh, find uh, a level ground, there are some um, levelers um, and then you can straighten your vein. So this I think, I think it would help, but we have to make sure we stand straight all the time. Number seven, the next important thing always is the weather. Um, in Greece, you don't have the problems or in warmer regions, but there in Austria, we, we, we saw that it can really change very fast. We were on a nice place and then the weather changed really to really cold and windy and wet. 10 and degrees down in yes, one day, basically, yeah, and a lot of rain. More, I think. And more? Okay. Yeah, 15. 15 degrees and then yes and I think you should really always knew how the weather is it's but it's always changing I don't know how it, the weather is in warmer regions when it then comes to the, the winter the wet, wet the wet season the wet season and so on, I think also we were in Australia we had four or five different regions from the weather I think it's difficult if you always drive, so yeah, you should, should stay up to date to the weather. Yeah, because we were on a, a really nice um, place and then we had to drive away and we couldn't um, explore the areas there, but it's really sad, but yeah, it's it's better you're in, in dry, dry land than you stay in the rain days, because you can't do much in a van when it's raining. Number eight, don't have a mouse in your van. <laughs> Basically, so we have we have a mouse since since one or two weeks. We have a mouse in the van, and we don't know how to get it out. We know she's somewhere. She's uh, we eating. haven't seen her actually, but we can hear her in the walls and and um, she had eat your. I can head. show you. Yes. <laughs> So this is my, my yoga mat and as you can see there are a lot of this was the mouse of holes and the mouse had eaten it. <laughs> so I don't know how to get rid of it and I don't know how you can make sure that you don't get a mouse but I think our cat Renga um, had brought the mouse into our van. The fingers and then he thought okay let it be there and yeah now we have a mouse. <laughs> But yeah, that's not good either because we are really scared that she bite into our cables in the van. Yes. So when you have a tip um, to get rid of mice without killing them, please let a comment. I think it's number nine. I'm not sure. I think number nine. And it's make sure you have heat, a heating system in, our, in your van. Um, I know in, in the UK you're on, and America you are allowed to have little wood uh, burners and I think that's really cool but in Austria you can't have that so you don't get a 
I don't know how it goes. You don't can you can't drive a car with a wood burner inside. So um, we don't had um, a heater, and it was really cold some days. And now we order um, a gas a gas heater. Yeah, Just. gas um, heater and. It's this, they yeah. are the same bottles than our cooking um, system, and that's um, a good solution, I think. Yeah, they're also really, really cheap. They last for three hours, one bottle, so we hope we can warm for one hour, and then it stays warm because of the isolation. We have a good isolation, but it's our first winter, let's, let's see. But yeah, you should have a, a heater inside. Yeah, and we, we also... Um, uh, by the uh, carpet and that's really helping because the the floor was really cold yeah the floor don't and have isolation it's, it's so, really warm yeah. yeah it's it's better now yeah and i really want the woods woods burner but uh, you're lucky in the uk guys <laughs> number 10 a mistake we made that we're not really good in um, talking to people that much and um, we never ask for something but one time we did we it was really cold and we don't want to shower outside with our um, solar shower even if it's really practical and, and good we ask in a in a hotel with a um, swim a public swimming place and then they allow us to shower there for free so but some people are really nice and they really want to to help you out so make sure you you ask when you need something when left mistake number 11 um, it's the internet an internet problem in uh, Greece and Italy we had the problem you can get unlimited internet you just can get for like 10 20 gigabytes for 10 euro or something so no 10 gigabytes for 20 euro that's really expensive and it also runs out very fast so when we also have you also can catch free wi-fi but we also it's also hard to to get free wi-fi all the time if you need to work or you know you need to upload something so we especially if you're on the coast um, it's possible to get free Wi-Fi, but not all the time. And yeah, we had some stories where we didn't, didn't get a really good internet. And yeah, I think five or ten gigabyte last for two or three three days because the updates and so on from the PC it does automatically. Even you want to stop it, and if you stream something. Um, or upload a video, a video we make have from 200 up to 1 gigabyte and that's in this 10 gigabyte package so yeah we we bought the first bot we bought in, in Greece first 10 gigabyte and it was gone in 3 days yeah, yeah um, just people who live there and um, have an address in this country they get unlimited internet but when you're from outside and you don't have a, um, have it for one year then there is no chance, so we try to figure out how we do this in whole Europe. Maybe you know an uh, internet provider who does that for whole Europe, then let us know. Yeah, then the wildlife tips are coming up and then we show you how if we get better free how, internet and stuff. Yeah, and like... how we make things right and not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Number 12, it's uh, the water. So, in most countries you get free water. But in dry regions, um, we experienced in, that in Australia, for example, yet you, when there's a dry season, you can't even buy really water even in the supermarket. So make sure to get water. In Austria and mount, uh, countries with high mountains, that's, that's no problem at all to get water. But you can drink us from rivers, in Greece, basically. Yeah, in Greece we had really, really um, poor water and stinky water sometimes and it wasn't to drink. If you can buy them, buy really... Don't drink? Ma drink? Many... Uh, drink? <laughs> <laughs> drink a lot of water. Yeah, and... But, yeah, we are used to drink the water 
from from, from our, everywhere basically yeah. from our tabs but so. if you are in regions especially poorer regions or regions with no mountains yeah you really need to be careful to drink it or filter it maybe yeah but uh, make sure to have a lot of water reserves in in yes. our van in, in the back of our van or so because it's really not fun when you don't find a place where you can refill your water bottles and you don't have something to drink one time in, in greece we had we had a problem like that and we um had just yes. our watermelons <laughs> so we watermelons. ate a lot of watermelons to get our water in for the day yeah but it wasn't not enough no. <laughs> so you need to drink number 13 yeah um <laughs> Make sure to look at your food supplies um, often because when there's something rotten, you have flies in our van pretty much. Um, we had um, flies in our van uh, one time, but I don't think it was because of It was of because food. of the cow poo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, of the cow poo next to our van. Next to our yeah. van, and then we had like 100 of flies. 200 flies, it yes. was so gross and. And, oh, and always check your um, cacao powder when you have one because we had um, the maden, <laughs> yeah. maden in, <laughs> in our cacao powder and it was gross because we want to make hot chocolate and then we saw it and there were the white things in it. It was so gross. And, yeah, we yeah. bought this uh, cacao powder uh, in uh, Austria and then one month later we had small uh, white <laughs> worms in it, yes. Yeah, um, yeah, and um, how you can get rid of the flies, we um, did it with um, vinegar and we cooked the vinegar and the, um, the steam from the vinegar um, hunts away the flies. And we also... Um, we we winded out from the van closed everything and drive away. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I think we had it for one week in our van and it was yeah. horrible. Then we were in a colder region and then they just yeah, disappeared. They were gone, yeah. Yes. So. But yeah, uh, mosquitoes or flies in your van, it's the... It's yeah. Do you really have any cool. tips? Then let it in the comments below or do you have any experience with animals in your van? Let us know how <laughs> we can get rid of them. <laughs> but not without... the cat. Yes. <laughs> Tip number 14, you don't have to pack a lot of stuff because we don't um, need all the stuff we have with us so we have to sort it out and one thing is our portable chemical toilet, it was in the van already when we bought it and we never used it, we go every time into nature or we have a peeing bucket You are all free toilets but this kind yeah. of chemical thing, I don't know. We, we need you have to special... drive to a place where you yeah. can where you can put the chemicals out, and we're not really a big fan of chemicals either. And also the fridge, we thought we really need a fridge in our van, and we have to cool everything. But in our storage, it's really cold, and we don't need the fridge, and we will um, give it give it away and make a uh, another storage place. And yeah, so. Um, especially when you don't buy meat or, or milk, you don't really need a fridge, so all this stuff um, stays really fresh. So number um, 15, I think it's the last one for today. Um, make sure how high and how uh, wide. The, the, the wide is your car. So the one... Uh, um, crash we had was just because on the back were two bikes and then I think in then one Italy episode there was a small Italian road and there was a door in behind and I somehow managed also the bike managed to somehow yeah <laughs> hey fun Bike uh, was stuck into a, in, a, into a door, metal door yeah. or something because this is what was so small, and then yeah, the door was. Our door is deformed now, is and deformed the bikes. Now. The um, bikes. One bike are really deformed, and 
think it's really it's too damaged. Yeah. And yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, make sure. We also have one story from Australia, another trip to Australia. A friend of, of ours was driving into a, a, a fuel station. But the car was too high and we demo damaged the damaged fuel station the in the half, car. half fuel station. Luckily the Australians are really nice and they said, oh no, it's no problem. That's normally that uh, people drive in our fuel station and destroy something. Yeah, there was, something. A, there was a hole from another person <laughs> too in the gas station. So, so maybe we, they experienced this every now and then. So we destroyed the whole the half station like in a PC game and we don't even buy anything. So that was really nice. But yeah, be sure you are, you know how high. <laughs> Yeah, and um, yeah. also um, another mis mistake we made that comes with the number 15 is don't drive into an European little um, old city because we did this mistake when we had this accident and it was horrible. We were in, um, I don't know, there, there were all people in front of our cars. It was a um, an, an area for um, pe per people per foot. <laughs> Yeah, for yeah. food and not for cars and we... But the road sign showed us we should park, drive right to park there on the on the, um, port. on the port. But yeah, this port, it was a big joke, so the, it was really terrible. <laughs> so yeah, this was where a lot of our mistakes we made so far in this two months and I'm sure there will come a lot more in the next few months, in the next few year, and I'm sure we can make another video of that sometime and then the next time maybe we make a van life tips video for you um, that you know how to do it yeah right. we're already planning it it's it will be a really cool video and yeah but for today let us know what your mistakes are so I think many of you also have a van or a, a big motorhome or something let us know your m mere mistakes and yeah and some tips maybe bye yes. bye <laughs>